Magnus running through our echo locations will come here when it's done with the others. We're sure of it. Are the Pentadi? It stinks of their kind. Why would this revisions empire become so slipshod in values as to give it a mark? Whatever the delusion, it needs to be repaired. We should arm ourselves with appropriate metaphor. I think this is my first shatter frame. Queen Zendara withdrew to the withdrew to the glade. We didn't. Well, she's queen now. What the hell? With some of the survivors of the Palatine and Soldiers of the Light army bolstering their strengths, they've been fighting back without access to magic for the last month. It's a time to help them turn the fight around. Or whatever. Uh, I think it was Oath. I think it was right there at the very top. It was about Oath. Oaths are one of the oldest and most potent forms of magic. Some believe they are tied directly to the first live ward agreements that mankind made with the ley lines of the Pentasod. Oaths are so strong that Sandrak has yet to figure out a way to circumvent them with the Binding Stone. The Glaive Gate. An ancient fortress of Kalthus, the Glaive Gate has resisted Rasharn for years, even when the rest of the kingdom surrendered to Sandrak. The rebels in Glaive Gate held fast and were never broken. Oh, I can literally go back. Okay, this is this is my first shatter phase. So I have no idea what the hell this is. clue what to do there not a single clue would have been the way back much easier but I went the hard way Orfe bet you saw me coming Candle fortunately for us this is one of the timelines where you returned whoa you can see me in alternate timelines oh, hold up I don't always make it sometimes your friends fail to catch you sometimes you two have a falling out and you leave your safe house alone and the Rashanians run you down. She... You, you know about Luna? Not really. We can only infer her presence in our visions of you. Otherwise, she is invisible to us. Well trained in the secret of mirrors, we suspect. You're lucky to have such a talented Magnus on your side. Which order is she? This ghost? Strange that you didn't... Um, look. I don't want to lie to you. She used to be in the Order of Masks. That's over with, though. She doesn't work for Sandrak anymore. A Rashanian? Not really. Well, okay, she calls herself one now, but also they kidnapped her a long time ago, and I only sort of get it, but I... <sighs> She's my friend, right? That's all that matters. It's a start. In any case, we are grateful for whichever rivers brought you back to us, Candle of Shaled. Good chat, Orfe. Feel sad. I should have talked to more people in the Pentasod. Apparently, there was a crap. To okay, I see you. I saw you. Okay. 
Apparently there's like a bunch of people and conversations I missed. And I mean a bunch of them. Like this guy. I don't really care about you. Lordship, I'm happy to see you well. Largely due to your deeds and what seems like endless courage, my friend. Seven Ridge will not let them go unrewarded. No need for that. We're a team, Hauser. But if you were wondering, my favorite color is somewhere between navy and ultramarine blue. I feel like I could rock a killer cape game. Consider it done. Talk to you later, Hauser. Well it easy on myself. Or a doll. What are you? Arc light. Only one shot, but it does 329 damage. Shred shield is 100%. Hauser. Who is down here? That was the cadet. Hauser was over here. Somebody, two people above me. Magic and shield. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, I have no I I'm not reading all that. Ah, 
Ah, there you are. You're in the cap. Captain Selko. Selko. I knew you'd make it. Jack, I'll admit you were gone for so long, I was starting to worry. We had no way of searching for you. Sandrak dismantled our scrying network, and we dared not risk an airship. Evacuating the Palathon, holding off a siege. I'll let this one slide. Who knew the end of the world would be such work? I've never heard him so scared, you know. Sandrak. He fears you, sir. No, he needs me. That's the scary part. Needing someone is a vulnerability. Exploit it. That's the plan. In theory, anyway. And thanks, by the way, for getting as many as you could out of the Palathon. We're all in your debt. Nice guy. Cool guy. It's a bummer, I thought maybe Kenzie would show up. Okay. True, I'm missing two Shroud Fanes, and they just literally said they're in freaking what do you call it? The Shrouded Realm. That shroud fane's open. Shattered fane is that. Shatter fane is now open too. I kind of want to check it out just to see what the hell it is. Dominator fane. What is? I don't know what to do here. The Aristea of this revision seems similar to our own. Unsurpassing. Unsurprising. That the Wound King has grown a fifth faith. Put us past Altava. The echoes of the fonts are weak and milky. Victims to Thradakul again. Will allow a dirge to choir to emerge from the Triarchive later. Just in case the Weeping Guild persists in this version of events. Politeness trumps Armageddon. I can't read. I have no idea Okay. 
we keep going. This is not a one and done. This is a thing that just keeps going. Oh shit, okay. Okay. I killed the other one that quick. Okay. 
Hirodote. Giving you plenty of mana crystals, but not enough health. feel about that. Okay, let's go here. It's filled with Rosharnian people. Lose your honey, oh, that's. Forgive us for starting early. Lavenish wolf herring is a frail plate at this altitude. I lost my appetite when you started threatening my friends. Ah, the misplaced, puff-chested vigor of youth. That's what was missing from the menu. You really are missing out. I resurrected the herring just for this occasion. A Lucian delicacy now extinct, a victim of the war, doomed to Kirkin's gallery of vanished things save for tonight. From the ether to your dish. Salut. At least you have your divine priorities straight. You're referring to the problem we're having with the wound. We've been working on a way to fix that. What is that? And hold on, you're working with him? I can conquer the world, Jack. But I can't save it. The wound widens faster every day now. With the power of the fonts, it obeys all of my commands. Except to stop. Maybe you broke it. This isn't me. The locus of energy at the base of the Pentasad? It's called the Maladar. The Aristean sign of the apocalypse. 
I know you've seen the Pentasad shrouded form, Jack. The so-called king of magic. Simultaneously standing there in the center of the wound, as if celebrating its hold on us. While skulking about in the dark below like some phonic puppeteer. This thing we blindly venerate? It's a demon, some wrathful god of old that loathes to share its wealth. When the Magni first learned to harness the ley lines, the Pentasad created the wound out of jealousy to punish them. Magic isn't destroying the world. The Pentasad is. Luna said you'd say something just like this. The Maladar it opened is one last gambit against the man who threatens to replace it. I want you to travel to the Shrouded Realm with me. Together, we can kill it. Kill it? The ship we built will take you there. Wait, you're seriously on board with this? This is Avium in a matter of days, Jack. We have to stand together on this. I can see no other way. Two things. First, you let me try to talk to it before we resort to violence. There has to be another solution. Second, I'm going to kill you when we're done. For Devin. These terms are entirely fair. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Go through the wound to reach the Shrouded Realm? In a way. Hold on. Sandrak believes the Pentasod needs to die to save Avium from the Malador. He regards the Pentasod as some kind of wrathful god, jealous of Magna's ability to use magic, that the Malador is its final judgment. I can't believe that Kirkin thinks killing the Pentasod is the right thing to do, too. Symbolically, yes. The deepest magics are based on ritual and reenactment. We perceive the Shrouded Realm as below us, so our descent here is a, a performance. And performance coupled with will creates reality. And you're using the Binding Stone to enhance that. Exactly right. This bathosphere Kirken and I engineered focuses its power and our will. If we pretend hard enough to go to the world below us, then inevitably we will get there. Oh god, I wonder what Rook's gonna say. Rook's gonna... He's gonna get angry? What's gonna happen with the Rook? And the Alori. This isn't a wound anymore. It is. The wound is more than a bottomless pit, Jack. It's oh. a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible world. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. Pulled words from pages of now empty books. The Shrouded Realm. Atava. The wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avium and the land above. Ah, uh, my head. What is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the deep mirror, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. Now that you have left Kirkan's suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. Uh, uh. You gotta stop trying to believe in Kirkin, honestly. 
The shrouded realm is dying. The Malador extends below Avium, and the corruption is everywhere. When one realm, yeah, when one realm dies, so does the other. The immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sends you to clean up a field of it, with a ritual that will end your life, take your soul. Kirken's agenda needed orphans like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice, to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying. Am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior magma, It's a sack of compost. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better garden. General, inform Grand Magnus Kirken that she may take her leave without delay. Provide her passage to wherever she wishes. It will most likely be Glavegate. Me, Varak. You're going to let her go? Just like that? Our vessel has reached its destination, so I have no need of her services anymore. I was only keeping her to influence our small alliance. Did you save her from the Palathon? I did. I realized my revenge would be nothing without her to suffer. You're insane. Very probably. Onward. supposed to be in my way we'll need to work together on this Gotta go further down. And then I have like no money. Right? You sure this is the right place? The Pentasad has known we were here since we landed. It should show itself... Any we'll moment pop in. now. Be careful, brother. Are you sure this parley of yours is still wise? Yes, stand down. Hi! I'm Jack. I was hoping we could talk. I have this friend. He says you might have taken a liking to me, so maybe you'll hear me out? This isn't working. Sandra, chill. The Maladar is destroying our world. Uh, worlds. If he's right about you, maybe you can help us. My friend Rook, I mean. He's in a lorry, and, well, we were... Wait, stop! I bring you down, rude creature. With the Thrada Cull, I refuse you. Ah! Help me, boy! I... I, I... Why did you send me here? I made him for you. What are you trying to say? I've seen this architecture before. In the Underdwell, the, the Alori. They came from the Shrouded Realm.
armor and melee damage. No! Not what I meant to do. Get out of here. That changes my level, right? Yeah, it does. giving me mana but not health. How many thousands of years ago? Uh, the Alori. The pentasod is showing. The pentasod is showing me the earliest history of the Alori. They originally came from the Shrouded Realm. They were sent to Avium to keep magic in balance. Cool. This 
making sure I'm not like missing any obvious signs of a of a shroud fane or something. Just want to make sure. Almost missed it. Almost missed it.
I pressed the thing to heal. Why did it get interrupted? Oh, I'm so angry about that.
This is more annoying than the shadow thing.
um, here. Armor. F oh, ah, ah. I'm immediately not a fan. Maybe once we level it up, it'll be fine. Yeah, not that way. was going to show me something like another memory.
Come, little ones, gather to me. Your minds are young and your fears unfounded. Our journey upward is a good thing. Again, the reason I'm checking so hard is because I, I want to make sure I don't miss that shroud thing. from the fonts and our powers will return it. create wonders with magic that will astonish us as long as we are there to heal the wounds they make in their innocence. Well again, humans, the cause of it all, we screwed it up by uh, forcing the Alori underground. anything?
I don't like that one though. It's strong, but I just don't like how the the wind up is too long for me. Not a fan. Of it. Our glory will never know rest. They will cherish us, the children of the Pentasad. That hasn't aged well. As soon as humans encountered the Alori, we started slaughtering them. Oh yeah. Because we suck. Sandra says the Immortals' mandate isn't just about cleaning up the corruption here and there. Ultimately, when the Immortal retires, they are sent to clean up some larger portions of Lucium ruined by the war, using a ritual that sacrifices their life, their magic, and their very soul. He said that's why Thaddeus really abandoned his post as Grand Magus. If this is true, why wouldn't Kirkin tell me? Because she was going to sacrifice you the fastest. Rope was the first of the Alori. He led them to Avium to undertake the Pentasod's plan for magic. Humans would use magic to create wonders, and the Alori would safely return it to the Fawns in the Shrouded Realm. We really, really screwed up. That's humanity for you.
goal to level up our ship.
has the Radiant Ring. All magic power, plus 40 and sigil. That's the ring. That's the ring I need right now. Shatter is good and all, and the damage is really good, but... No, actually, yeah, I think I can do with this. Penasod made them to be a, a safety valve. They were never stealing our magic. They were trying to filter it. The corruption magic creates an avium. The Alori would have prevented it by sending it back here. There would have never been a wound. we saw was that they drained magic so we killed as many of them as we could as soon as we met them and drove the rest away Sandrak I've got to stop him we can put all this back together. Jack, it weakens before me. Together we can finish it. No, don't fight it at all. Listen, the Penisod showed me how to... Resist its illusions. It will show you anything it needs to survive. Don't be a coward, boy. Will you listen to me? Stop attacking it! You came here to help me! I came here to help you fix the wound! God damn it! You're going to get everyone killed, asshole! Uh. Ah. Ah. Those oaths really have teeth, Ted. Damn. Oh, shit! That looked like it hurt. I love Rook. Uh, it's good. It's good. Ugh, Damn I'm it, good. I missed a shroud faint. Where am I? Smells like you just fell out of the shrouded realm. Alarming twist. The Pentasod sent me here. Whatever it's selling, I ain't buying. Mm, 
hold on, Rook. Hear me out. No. That thing can go fuck itself. It tricked us. Told us Avium would be one big ball of paradise. Now get out of here before- Before you eat me. I know. I know. Just stop and listen. <sighs> the mouth on you. Somewhere along the way you forgot I ain't human, Jack. Big cantankerous Rook. We go way back. The vast big gulf of hate between us is all gone. He sees me as one of the good ones. Newsflash, pissant! You got... you got good reason to hate me. To hate all of us. <laughs> we deserve it. For what we did. That's on us, though. Not the Pentasod. It needs your help. It's for you. Jack, can you hear me? Mind link's on the fritz. This don't seem much better. I'm kinda busy right now. You gotta get to Glavegate, pronto. Going to the Shrouded Realm was only Sandrak's first plan to kill the Pentasod, but he had a backup. If that didn't work, he'd use the Binding Stone to pull the Pentasod into our world. It'll be weaker here. He can do that? Yeah, according to my scry stones, he is doing it. Right now. Worst part, Kirkin's still all in on it. Telling everyone here they need to saddle up with Sandrak and join the fight. You've got to stop her, Thaddeus. Tell her I have another way to fix this. Sure, <laughs> like she gonna listen to me. I already tried. Try harder. If the Penisot dies, that's it. We're done. It's all done. I'm on my way. I'm bringing the Alori. Lied straight to the man's face, kid. Didn't even blink. Your glory will never know rest. Oh, it showed you that. Uh... To what? To tug at my conscience? No. To make sure I'd see that the only person that can save us all is you. Please, come to Glavegate. I know for a fact I missed a freaking That is the craziest how the hell would you ever you ever figured this out? Wow. wow, I would have never in my life. Never in my life. And it's a death. It's a death.
giving me. God's beard. God, they literally say God's beard caps. Tip of the spear. I'll never use it because again I'm not a fan of the javelin. Wow, bro. Seven hundred and thirty-seven dead. Wow. Blade gate, here we come. Happy you could finally join us. Your Lori friends were a no-show. They'll be here. I'm done waiting. Air Commanders, prepare to join the Rasharnian assault. Sir, you can't do this. The Pentasod isn't causing the Maladar. It's suffering from it. Sandrak and the Binding Stone. You think are... I don't know all of this? He's insane. He literally believes the Pentasod went berserk because it's jealous. Then why are you joining him? The fonts are gone. The Pentasad that made them is broken, unanchored, imploding, and all of Avium is crumbling apart as it lashes out. Nothing else matters. Lucium isn't joining Sandrak's Mad Crusade, Jack. We're using it so we can cauterize the wound at the source. What a crock of shit. Sorry for crashing in. Magna, I got a real blind spot for Alori. The kid says you need our help. And from what I've heard of your plan, he's right by a mile. And just what help could you possibly give us? Look, lady, I ain't happy to be here either. We've had a bone to pick with your people for, I don't know, a few thousand years? We have a lot to make up for. This is how it's supposed to be. Whatever magic the Magni take from the Ley Lines, the Elori funnel back to where it came from. No corruption, no wound. Yeah, well, what he's showing us squares with my research. This whole mess started once the Elori were banished. You know what you're doing is impossible. I'm right next to you. The Pentasod is helping. We're tight. Tell me, Jack. Did you bring any other visions of perfect harmony that you saw in the Shrouded Realm that are actually relevant to the battle at hand? The Alori can heal the wound? We can start over? It won't happen immediately. We've corrupted so much. But it won't happen at all if we do what you're asking. Selko, get him out of here. Zendara, get your airships ready for transport and- No. I did not just hear that. Selko. Relieve the Grand Magnus of command. Bullshit like this is why I live in a cave. Lucium surrendered to Sandrak a month ago. Kalthus is still free. That makes me the ranking officer of the Immortals by ancient treaty. Look it up. You're making a mistake you can't undo. Take it up with Lavenry. If you help us, all the territories west of the Orenthals are yours. It's not much, but you'll have a sky. We can work out the rest from there. You're in no position to make such an offer. <clears throat> By law, we're a renegade army, and she's the queen of Kelthus. Damn well do whatever she wants here. We were gonna help regardless, but sure, we'll take bonus freedom. Yeah, I love Rook. Signal the commanders that there's been a change of plans. Please, sir, you can still help us. You're heading into disaster, Jack. The world ends because of what you chose today. Uh, we all knew Kirkin was going to turn back. We all knew. I want to say that I knew Rook would change his mind and help us, but I'd be fooling myself. When he and the Alori showed up, that's the moment things started to change. They're moving fast now. I guess that's how time feels when it's really, re when it's literally running out. 
Zendara going against Kirkin, taking over leadership of both the Mortals and the Light's army? Yeah, that's something I never expected to see. She's a believer, though, and has always had a healthy reverence for the Pentasod. Sometimes you reach a breaking point. Kirkin has been hell-bent on joining Sandrak to kill the Pentasod, even after I showed her what I learned in the Shrouded Realm. I knew she was ruthless, but not like this. I'd always heard that her name was synonymous with winning at all costs. I just never really believed how far she would go. It's strange and painful think uh, it's a strange and painful thing to lose your mentor and Kirkin was so much more than that to me ah, I don't know I, I never felt that from her just give the word initiate Thaddeus thanks for the backup everywhere you go you cause a ruckus I've never seen Kirkin that angry kid and I've seen Kirkin angry if the her plan would have gotten us killed every one of us we think. Wait, you think she was right? That killing the Penasod will heal the Maladar? Wouldn't matter if she were. Killing ain't the kind of right I want to be on the side of. So, hey, I got this weird favor to ask. Speak up! What weird sh favor? Sh 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 was that necessary? Look, my friend Luna. Gel that gut shot me? Yeah, she's a favorite. That one, yeah. I wanted to talk to her, but. I don't know where she is, and I don't know how to do this, you know, this mind thing where I could find out. Uh-huh. So I was thinking, maybe, since we three share the whole thing between us, you could help me track her down somehow. How? You and I combine our thinking real hard? It's not gonna work if you make it sound stupid. John? Holy shit, we did Why does everything smell like honeysuckle and... Eggs? Hey, now. Oh, great. Whatever you want to say, Jack, you better say it now. I can't maintain this tomfuckery for long. Luna. What's he talking about? Them eggs was fresh. You're supposed to leave me out of this, Jack. Tell me I got this. Are you <sighs> shitting me? Sorry, kid. That's harder than it looks. She's gone. All right. Save your strength. We gotta go. Captain, I really appreciate the support. I know you and Kirk can go way back, so it couldn't have been easy for you. I'm loyal to the Immortals, not Kirkin. I get that, but still, I'm just saying. Permission to speak freely, sir. <clears throat> Say what's on your mind. It was a whole month, sir. Sandrak's hold on magic. The Magni outside of the Order of Masks had lost their power, and none of them knew if it would ever come back. It broke some of them. It affected all of them. What are you saying? Kirkin was wrong. But I can't help wondering if her response to the present crisis wouldn't have been so severe if the Magni hadn't felt so helpless before. Hadn't felt so afraid. You've got a big heart, Soko. More than most Magni deserve. I'm glad you're with us. You actually came. I, I'm kind of speechless. That's, uh, first. And you should be thanking the boys. They're the ones who voted we help you. They heard you guilt-tripping me, kept it up after you left. Oh, come on. No one tells you to do anything. You can say it. Say what? Haircut made a good point, see? And so I'm a sitting at a crossroads of conscience, see? You know what I don't smell on you? A proper fear of me. Should I be getting worried? Oh, you're definitely worried around me. Heebie-jeebies all over you like lice whenever I'm close. But no... fear. Magni Lori, that's the first thing that pops up. Historically. They scream, freak out, run away. There was plenty of fear the first time we met. Sir, sure. I gave off a lot of gonna eat your face off type overtones. But then we just started talking, and you... You just turned into a normal guy, you know? This guy I know, with... horns. Uh, I was getting to this theory I have about you and your no fear... What do you humans call your kind? Uh, unfortunate? Unforeseen? Also, I'm still human. Is that so? All the Magni treat you like one? I mean, yeah. Well, for the most part. <sighs> So, 
I think, because you're an unforeseen. Because you remember a time where you didn't have magic. You don't got the same ingrained fear of Alori as someone who's had magic their whole life. We just don't set you off the same way as we do the off-the-shelf Magni, the Dynasty Magni. Interesting theory. Or maybe it's just because I think you're all right. Don't sell yourself short, Rook. Communicating. <laughs> Let's see what Hauser has to say. Your Lordship. Jack? I've heard that assassins in the Order of the Osworn don't really get along in Kalthus. Hmm. Hex brands are a quintessentially Lucian institution. I can't blame the Kalthusians, really. Every murder is an oath-breaking of some kind. The premise of our existence doesn't align well with their traditions. Did, uh... Did that ever come up with Zendara? No. But then she's considered a progressive here. Oh, really? Ah, you're referring to her inconsiderate and woeful attitudes towards the unforeseen. Just a smidgen. Then let me amend. Zendara's nothing if not a pragmatist. She has no problem with the utility of sanctions. Was it? Talk to you later, Hauser. I thought he would say something about the Alori just hanging out, but I guess not. So it's if you manage to land every single shot, you could deal a grand of damage. I'm just curious about that shield shredding. Let's just... I can always just switch it during combat. Let's do this. Well, that was a whole thing. That's an understatement. Are you doing okay about Kirkin? Of course I'm not. But what's done is done. So, do I call you Grand Magnus now, or what? Do you ever give things time to process? Initiate? So you're saying we should table it and go? I am. Are you ready? Yes. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Air commanders have their final orders, sir. We're ready to embark and engage over the wound. Keep our scrying officers silent until I give the signal. Sandrak still thinks we're coming to help. They won't know what hit him. Just need to get close enough to drop us on Sandrak's flagship. My boys will break away and try to dampen whatever Sandrax spells have got its hooks in the Penisod, pulling it through. Good a plan as any, except, well... <clears throat> our airships are powered by magic. How are we supposed to transport the Alori? You ain't. Fellas, time to gussy up. Oh, they can fly. My born days, I wanted to see that. We can really do this. Good hunting, people. Oh, that's bait. I'm pretty sure that's the arena we're going to be in right now. They've destroyed us! Selko, peel off and hit their flanks! Open a path for the Alori! Copy that! The rest of you, we're going straight up the gut. I'll stat up the gut! Football reference for any of the other men. Woohoo! Did he really just yell wahoo? I was feeling it. Sir, Roshanian airship bearing for the Alori. We can't stop it. You have.
have to, Captain. We can't do this without them. Strip it! Oh! Never mind, sir. Holy shit. Not bad. This is all on you now, Initiate. <laughs> yeah, no, baby. no. Last time it was just up to me, I made the biggest mistake of my life. We're only going to win this one together. Sigil up. Yeah. I can't do this thing. I, the, the, the shield tread on it is fantastic. Love it, but I
this was just where they were coming from. ring or level up this thing. Is there anything? Uh oh. The game crashed. The game crashed? Yeah. The game crashed. Oh my god. Alright, thank god it, it, it saved me upgrading the ring. It did. It did. Okay. Thank god. I was gonna check if there was any stuff up there. Okay. 
Getting close to Sandrak. Should I wait for you? There's no time. Go! Jack, Kirken betrays me with a doomed assault with you at the head. No. She was still all in on your plan. But my friends and I had a different idea. Oh, -ho. you turned against her. Wonderful. I've had a good influence on you. They're the key, Sandrak. If you really want to heal the wound, you're going to let them finish. You know I'm right. I admit, your army of gargoyles is something I didn't see coming. Children of the Pentasada, they're not. Cruel of you to bring them just to see it die. You must want to build yourself a little family of orphans again. After all you have seen, you still insist on prolonging the world's suffering. Vija! Van Titor. Disgust me, malevolent spirit. I will erase your names from all memory. Can you hear it, Jack? In all of its varied hues of panic, the realization that even immortality is pleasing. Traitor returned at last. You dishonor everything I gave you, sister. That Rasharan gave you. You're so full of shit. You sold our people a dream you abandoned the moment I handed you the power to fulfill it. <clears throat> you don't always have to wait until I'm on the ropes to swoop in, you know. I don't. You're just always on the ropes. <laughs> Do you know how many Lucians she's killed, Jack? And you, sister, how many of your countrymen have died at his hand? How? Both of you betray your masters for what? A chance at power? And then which of you will betray the other? Get behind my shield! Cull, I resist you. With my own will, I resist you.
You cannot touch me! Kirk knew that joining me was the only answer. You dishonor her. Catch you before you can go into that little nonsense. Enough! You mistake me for someone that has limits. I am the very wellspring of magic. The very. Remember that time we pulled one over on the Upbridge Gang? I guess. I'm saying literally remember the time we pulled one over on the Upbridge Gang. Enough! No! Oh, come on. You know it's that I'm not gonna kill It's finally time to end your suffering. What? This is for Devin. And for Luna. Oh, and, and the Palathon. And Saren. And fuck, man. Oh. Whew. Don't forget the Maladar. Right. Uh... And for the Maladar. No, dummy. Literally, don't forget the Maladar. It'll work. Damn, kid! Rook says it's a bust. Too much corruption is pouring out of it too fast. Their absorption powers can't slow it down, much less cork it. Then what are we going to do? The wound's still growing. I'm thinking. Think faster. Rashani and Armada, this is the hand. Sandrak is dead and his madness is over. Stand down and disperse on my command. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. Isn't there something else? That we can do about it, I mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Before you ask, yeah, it works. What? The mandate, the healing ritual, one that splits you from your magic, from your soul. It works. I never would have left the immortals if it didn't. Ask too much of a person. Would it work on something this big? If I... Jumped in, exploded yourself right next to the binding stone, flooded all the fonts back into the shrouded realm. Yeah, could do. There's a hair of a mite. You won't survive, though. Good news, that bunny in your eyes is gone, and resolve is a powerful thing. You're the worst possible person to actually understand goodbyes. I'll tell her. Well, okay. You don't have time to teach me the ritual, so... Just stick it in your head on the way down. I know. Listen, kid. If you're gonna jump, just... Just jump already. Jack? It'll be okay, Luna. Jack!
What did he do? He fixed it. Never doubted him for a second. I think it lingered there for a little too long. So, now that the wound's been unfucked for the moment... The rest is up to us. Magni orders are gonna have to rewrite their entire magical playbooks, and include the Alori in them. West of the Orenthals, huh? That's a right nice stretch of green. Pretty hills, dark groves. Rook will love groves. They're all gardeners at heart, really. They deserve more. Yeah, well, what you started here, it's gonna spread. Lucium will follow our example. Yeah, sure it will. Word from Lavendry. Speak of the devil. Short version. The king and the dynastic families give their unending thanks. That's it? The language used was lovely, yet economical. No, I mean, did Kirkin... No word from her at all, sir. The king will recognize your claim as the head of your order, if you ask for it. She'll, uh, yeah, she'll come around. No, she won't. Yeah, likely not. She never did with me. But you and Jack had the right of it, in a way I never did. Woke up right in time for the compliments. Keep them coming. Oh, wow, there really he good. is. You look good for someone that exploded. I got better. Paid having the Pentasod owe you a favor. Spit you back out the shrouded realm, good as new. Hmm. Your legs still seem a bit pudding foot, though. Your, uh, <clears throat> friend left when she saw you were on the mend. She said she wasn't sure where she was gonna go. Yeah, that tracks. So what's next? Well, plenty of Sandrak loyalists are still out there, running amok and causing trouble, refusing to believe he's really dead. You got any loose ends, kid? Wouldn't expect to tie him up in peace. And what about the Immortals? Rasharn's withdrawing back to the front. We'll take advantage of that time and try to rebuild. And, uh, under your leadership? I take it you have an opinion on that. I mean, yeah. I, um, I think it should be you. I see. I was thinking the same thing. You were? Oh, that's great. Totally should be you, for sure. Totally. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be me at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, hell no. Okay, well, that's a little rude. Yeah. I mean, cool. that would be the worst thing. <laughs> yeah. That could no. happen. <clears throat> yeah. Literally no way. can't think right? of <laughs> anything. But, like, worse. why not, though? Happen. Like, you ever. Like, you haven't even then thought about it? Being the leader. I'm, I mean. <laughs> We could. I'm, it's funny though. Okay. Listen, it's funny. It's well, you a know, funny we've been idea. through a lot. We, I'd love to see it. Well, I don't. You know, maybe we should try a trial. Just for well, what is that? Just for shits and giggles. I think I've proven myself more than day. once. I, I healed the wound. As uh, we did. As always, at our perspective developers, we're going to let the credits roll. Um, but, yeah. Quick overall thoughts. This game is a solid 7. I would even say maybe 7.5. Uh... Just the mechanics of it, of the fighting, the, the magic and all that. It's actually really fun once you get it. Obviously, I suck at the game, but I'm pretty sure, like, there's people, like, if that you can watch that they just, like, destroy things, like, with all these crazy builds and stuff. I played it pretty safe, sticking mostly with blue magic and stuff like that, with green and red as, like, auxiliaries. Um, but there were still, like, moments of, like, hecticness, especially when, like, some enemies can just zip around and like 
some of the shatter frames like you saw like they swarmed me and you can't really see and it's just like sometimes it gets a little too crowded i would say that um and then story wise it was fine even though like some stuff was way too predictable i mean there were some twists and turns there i will admit that but there was some predictability of like luna being the hand that was we, we saw that from the very beginning i mean come on that was a no brainer that was that was her um but yeah uh overall it was okay story wise it was okay uh there were a few technical issues the game crashed a few times and we found a bug that literally like we can re repeat to crash the game uh so i scared there at the end when it crashed at the end i was like oh my god it's gonna make me start from the beginning i want to cry uh, but thankfully it didn't um but yeah it, it was overall a good as the easy allies would say it's a swimming in sevens it's a seven it's a good seven or seven point five i would give it um yeah i enjoyed it i thought it was good i thought it was good but yeah that's what i think i'll put a full review up later on my channel but for now let's again out of respect to developers let the credits roll all right so the secret ending uh it's pretty major well not major but it's pretty interesting where jack comments that he still has the mark for the binding stone and he figured it'd be gone once it was destroyed then it cuts to luna um finding the binding stone in the shrouded realm and you hear devon apparently alive asking her thing that he's lost and she just looks at him like what and then like they don't show him but you hear him and then it cuts to black so yeah it was probably to set up you know the sequel continuing the story but i don't think this game did well enough to do that which it's, it's a bummer because but thankfully it's those threads aren't too egregious that it's just like oh oh my god what a cliffhanger it's more like oh that's an interesting plot thread that it can continue but yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think this game did all that well. Yeah, I can do the adventure, blah, 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 blah. I defeated the six, I got all the Shroud Fanes. We did it. Sandrak is dead, and somehow I'm still alive. The wound has stopped growing and even shows signs of shrinking. There is an easy peace with the Alori that we need to strengthen through time and trust. There are still Rasharnian holdouts over Avium, though. My mission isn't over quite yet. The Alori. The Alori have been given territory and Kalthus to live in without persecution. More of them arrive from the Underwell every day. Without the Alori, Sandrak's defeat and the healing of the Maladar would have been impossible. But will the other kingdoms of Avium admit that and make similar concessions? Well, they better, because then Kalthus is just going to be a powerhouse that can use the Alori whenever they want. Better to make nice. More vain. No. In the end, Luna joined the fight and helped me defeat Sandrak. The Pentasod more or less ate him. When he disappeared, so did the Binding Stone. His hold on magic is undone. No, it didn't. When he disappeared, so did the Bind... That, that's not what happened. We still had the... Like, we kicked him out. He got eaten. And then we used the Binding Stone. And it, like, it didn't just... There's like little things like this that kind of annoy me. It's just like, that's clearly not what happened. Well, it's left of the order. Good question. No base. Less than a handful of us left. A mandate in need of a major rewrite. A message that the wider world isn't necessarily prepared for. Strange days ahead for sure. Magic Ignite. Magic causes the wound, and that's the secret that Magnite orders have been kept from the lightless since, well, since forever. Now we know that the Alori can prevent that from happening. 
that they can show us a process whereby magic can be used without causing corruption. The dynastic houses outside of Caltus, though, with their fear and hatred so ingrained, will they actually agree to change their traditions and make peace with the Alori for the good of Avium? Sounds reasonable, right? But how often can mankind be counted on to do the reasonable thing? Never, never at all. Pentasad. Everyone is saying the Pentasad restored me back to life after I exploded. They don't really give any details on how, except that the Pentas except the Pentasad, who doesn't talk that much at all anyway. I guess it has to be true though, right? How else would I be here? A legitimate miracle. And the weird thing you find out? Wait. And the weird thing you find out? When a legitimate miracle happens, people don't poke at it too much to figure out how it did it. How? Figure out how it did. I can't read. I'm, I'm, it's, it's about to be 4.30 in the morning. But yeah. Triarch sigil. Triarch sigil. One from. All shred. Ash diamond sword. It's kind of cool. And it's better than Balemore, I think. That's interesting. I wonder if leveling it up levels up all of them. more it does 10 more damage but I think the all the other bonuses make it better oh once you equip it to a certain magic I wouldn't give it to this. Eighty-one damage. Hmm. Overall, I think it's best suited for the blue. That was Immortals of Avium. And once again, the secret ending was just a plot thread with the Binding Stone still being around and the reveal that Devin may have still be alive. So, yeah. Regardless, solid 7. Maybe 7.5. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. 